Today we're going to do stamp making with lino. Um, so I bought a sheet of lino a little while ago um, and my parents were like, yeah, we definitely have lino cutting tools, but they didn't. So that was really fun. And thank you to them for lying. So I've put off buying actual tools to carve into the lino for a little bit, but I finally made a purchase. Uh, so this is a little kit that I got off Amazon, just literally a stamp lino kit. It comes with your little tool, a little pot, and you can hear them in there, more bits. It also comes with these little um, lino tabs, I don't know, five of them. Spoiler alert, I'm filming this after I filmed trying one out. So you'll see that soon. It's so that you can make a little stamp and then you put it together and can stamp with it. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. Um, I, with my other lino stuff, I did actually make a stamp before and I had to use my X-Acto knife to cut everything out, which took a very long time. And it's very, very small, this little frog, which is my little frog. And my dad was really kind and cut me out a bit of wood so I could stick it on and then I also stamped it onto the back of the piece of wood so it's like a proper stamp. And now we're going to make a couple of stamps. The first one I want to make is this one that I've already made uh, but I have filmed the process of this and it's my little cat mascot. So let's get into uh cutting this long guy out and the process of that and then we're going to do a couple more designs over the next couple of days which will be over the next couple of minutes for you guys and I just spoke really really fast but that's what we're doing okay right on to the cap go 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 so I started by drawing out my design I wanted in pen onto the actual lino and I'm going to speed through the process of sort of cutting this out at the end of the video, I've got like a full real-time version as well um, for you guys to watch. I then drew out my next two designs, which is this little bear and my little bunny mascot. So here I'm just going to show you another sort of time lapse of me doing the bunny one and finishing that off. Again, I have like a full, full unedited thing at the end of the video for you to watch. Here we are then stamping that out. Um, there are a few tweaks that I wanted to make to this, which I did next. And you can see the sort of final output here with the stamp next to it. I think this one came out so, so cute. Probably my favorite so far. I don't know about that. The bunny one, amazing. The frog one, amazing. Then obviously your label will go in there. So, yeah. So that's our little rabbit stamp. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Do -do 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 -do. So he actually cut me off a fair few bits of wood. Actually, there's another one. Quite a few. So I can keep going and make lots of professional stamps. But 
first i'm going to take this one off here i don't really like this one but i'm going to cut it out and i'm going to put it on a piece of wood because i don't want it on here now this one yeah perfect so now we have well now we actually have three little stamps very cute actually i love these so i'm going to try this one again but in this style then i've drawn out my little dog as you can see not very well because i'm just not very good at drawing and then a little bear as well so okay let's try this one out this one is evil and i have cut myself i've also got loads of ink all over my hand so i should wash that just in case that gets infected but look so And let's do it up here. Lovely. Yeah, actually, it does do that top. I just held it with... Oh, no, I've put blood on the wood. My stamp progress so far. So we've got another one down, which is the little dog. I think this one came out so cute. I also re-stamped this one um, better than that. So that is also looking good. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So just the bear to go to complete our current set. Everything is so messy and we've got Lido everywhere. Good morning, it's the next day. The sun is out. Um, it's actually really nice out. I'm gonna take the dog in a minute. And I've got my ginger and turmeric shot, which I can't do in one shot. These are big, so but I really like them. And we're gonna finish off the stamps today. So we've got the bear left. This little guy, the little bear. He's the only one left. I've got my two Awkward Animals series collection images, and I've got this big bit of lino, which I bought a while ago. I need to cut off this, I was testing it. And I was thinking maybe I will do like a proper art print with it. I thought that might be cute but I want to do a sort of um awkward animals collection video separately so I might do that in there where I sort of finish up the animals. I want to make a dashing version as well. I want to pop them on some really nice tote bags that I bought so I think I'll do a separate video where I make a proper art print with that collection. So for now on to the bear. Look at our stamp collection now. Perfect. I am going to stop making stamps now. <laughs> I have enough. What, how many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six stamps now. Perfect. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if you have any questions about making stamps and the lino cutting, let me know in the comments below. Um, I'm also going to that footage you just saw of the bear. I did actually just film that. It's like 10 minutes long, front to back with no like edits so I'm gonna put that footage at the end of this video um, so if you did want to just watch it all the way through how to make it you have that option see you in the next video bye bye